We got Dark Samus versus Roberto. All right, let's see how things get kicked off here. Yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of projectiles fly in this set. And we saw in train set against uh, Steven, the Sonic player, a lot of the game plan was kind of that traditional zoner game plan of just not making you feel safe at all, especially you know what Samus is good at. And I already love the way that train is playing right now because Samus is... Samus' specials are so good that they kind of play the game for her yeah. that Train could just hold on to Gyro that whole time, that whole interaction, so that Dill was not able to use it. What a chase wow. by Train. Dill usually so comfortable, able to take that high road recovery, and Train already doing what I was talking about, instilling the fear. Yeah, 100%. And I feel like this is a complete 180 shift from Train from the last match we saw against the Sonic player. And granted, you know, with Rob, you could have a lot more fun with some of these projectile shenanigans and bomb setups until you're, oh my, what? like, what the heck is that? Like, Train is just popping off right now. Who is this person? I also, I also really want to stress how kind of important it is for Train to disincentivize uh, high recoveries because, yeah. like, who wants to recover low against Samus yeah. ever? But if you feel uncomfortable recovering high, like, now you have to deal with bombs, you gotta deal with Samus ledge trapping, you gotta deal with charge shot, and the percentage is already racking up for train, potentially lapping Dill in percentage. Ooh. Oh wow, the narrow was getting the stock there by Dill, but... Train doing a good job of mixing up their recovery and making it back to stage. Now, what is the ledge setup? Now, Ooh, okay. Suddenly, suddenly Dill was uh, in the ledge trapping position instead of Train. These B reverses are mixing me up, and I'm not even playing. What the heck? Absolutely. All right, bombs coming back in once again. Gyro in hand for Train, using oh, it to goodness. disincentivize the ledge, making Dill recover high once again. And right. Train finally going down with a full stock ahead. What a Zare into grab. I will say, Ooh. like we saw in Dill's last match, one Z-drop combo into rotor arms, your stock could be obliterated. And we are getting very dangerously close to that happening. Yeah, you can never, you can really never count Dill out, but yeah. unfortunately she did not have Gyro in hand at that point in time. So right. Train feeling a little bit safer and already 50% on Dill, but Dill now with a little bit of advantage, but a great air dodge to put Train right back into the driver seat and parrying the laser as well. Train yeah. is just playing with all of the confidence, but there's nothing to humble you like a quite like a, an arm rotor. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> really just bring you back down to earth. Have I been saying it wrong the whole time? It's arm rotor instead of rotor arms? Is, oh, it don't matter? Same, same okay. thing. All right, word. The arms, tomato, they be tomato. rotoring. T they do. They do be rotoring. <laughs> Well, that just completely changed super quickly. You know, Train had a significant lead, uh, but now Dill is trying to keep this competitive, still very, very close to losing their stock. And ooh, forward air, not gonna be doing it quite yet, but a full charge shot on deck for Train. Bomb at the ledge, you don't have very much invincibility and Okay. I like the play there by Dill, calling out the uh, the charge shot if it were to come out at that moment with the rotor arms. Yep. Ooh, down yeah, tilt. Gotta be careful, especially when you're re-crabbing against Samus. The bomb actually saving Dill from an up throw fate, but uh, the snipe with the super missile. Bullet Train hitting Dill with one of Dill's classics with those snipes, huh? Yeah. Impressive. I think Dill there was saying run it. <laughs> I don't know what Dill was trying to mime it's there. An interpretive dance. I, I think I thought she was saying "run it back" with like the the finger swirl thing. Well, they are. But so <laughs> yeah, you are <laughs> accurate kinda, in your assumption. She just kind of started floating. Yeah, super impressive there by Train. I mean, from the start of that uh, first game, Train was looking more like a freight train as opposed to a normal train. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about. Tommy the truck, or what's my name? <laughs> Thomas, Thomas the, the truck. Thomas <laughs> the tank engine. Thomas, Thomas the, the tank. I was trying to say tank, Thomas then I said the truck. truck. <laughs> <laughs> Barreling down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, anyway, we're back to game two, back to Battlefield, and let's see if Dill could sneak away with this game. We yeah. see a lot of reverse 2-0s from Dill. 
Yeah, Train was absolutely the one setting the pace in game one and already using that charge shot to just go right through the gyro, saying, you want to play neutral? No, I don't want to. I, I would actually prefer to just continue continue comboing you. And with that tether grab from so far away, Train is continuing the pressure. And I do want to note that Battlefield is a very good stage for the Samus's in particular. Yeah. Because of that top platform, making screw attack so much safer. Oh, true. It's, you know, you screw attack from, you know, straight and neutral and you land on that platform. But also, it's a great kill option if both of them are up there. And then just throwing out the raw B could get it done. But Dill yeah. at 150, 143%. The ledge trap. All right. The bombs. Down tilt. Charge shot. Come every Monday. Everything. Oh, the up air. Almost. They're not going to be taking it quite yet. And once again, we're just back to ledge. And you, the, the invincibility running out and Train able to take things with the down tilt. Now Gyro in a hand once again. And just, I love the way that Train plays with the Gyro. It's so, it's so fun and creative. Ooh, okay, trying to sneak his way back to the uh, the ledge, but unfortunately, fast falling right there kind of gave him some real bad DI on that down smash, and Dill able to take us back to even stocks, and now, okay, not quite able to get the armor. I like the high recovery attempt from Train. Now, Train is the one with center stage control. Dill trying to fight her way back in. Ooh. Oof. We are throwing all the moves out here at Samus, but very, very close second stock. Dill with the slight lead, but what's, all right, what are we doing from ledge? We're getting out of there. Send back up. I think Train is like secretly the most aggressive Samus player I've ever seen, and <laughs> it is a treat to watch so far. This game, we really are seeing the aggression come out from Train. I mean, I guess playing against Rob, you could definitely do that. You know? Train even has the tech. He yeah. did initial initial dash into grab the gyro. He knows. That's the John Numbers exclusive. Oh, man. Okay, parrying the laser. Dill's stock is on notice, but no charge shot online for Train right now. Has to find his way back through some of Dill's own ledge trapping. Which just striking his way so through. So much pressure on the shield by Train. Absolutely. Okay, Dill now with Gyro in hand. Maybe going to be finding something, but... Train even, looking for that grab. Even right Ooh. there, the bomb disincentivizing, like, hey, get up off of me. But the arm rotor coming in, now Dill with a stock lead. But 166, not going to be taking too much for a Train to potentially find this next stock. And for some bomb setups at ledge, almost catching the high recovery, nice. does catch it with the second up air, and Train is one stock away from 2 owing our second seed. Yeah, that would be quite the uh, quite the upset there. I mean, I know Devin was saying earlier, Train, not a, a common uh, face that we see here at Xeno, plays more on Wi-Fi, apparently. But, um, I'm not sure. That, uh, I need to fact check on that. Okay, yeah. all good, all good. Either way, Train is really showing their stripes right now, uh, taking it to Dylan. I mean, we have a very, very close game too. And if I'm Train, you know, granted, you know, I'm not too familiar maybe with, with Dill and, and, you know, their comeback mechanic, but you got to be careful because if we get to game three, Dill starts to steamroll. So Absolutely. I want to get this done if I'm Train. Well, I love, I love the wave bounce movement from Train to make his yeah. recovery a little bit safer instead of just, you know, lazily drifting in for the low screw attack recovery. She picks up the gyro and says, get off of me. <gasps> oh, no. That's a whiff grab. How's your mash? Okay. The no mash mix up. Uh, for Train, keeping him safe from that up tilt. <gasps> Carries the jab, but you know Samus is never go for jab two. That move is a mix up because it doesn't work. These B reverses <gasps> by Train are I, very very sneaky. Oh, where's that oh, gyro? I love the gyro usage because you know Dill was sniffing for that dare, but it using the gyro to make some space. Yeah. So good from Train. Good fair back to stage by Train. Oh, DZ. Poking. Yeah, we're poking with. Gotta be careful setting up those bombs. I love the way that Train went to set up the high bomb because you know that Dill loves to shark with like Rob up air. Are we landing? Ledge, but the up air there. Dill is so clutch.
<laughs> Dill's shaking her head like, why is this so close? That should not have been. She's like, no, that this should not have been that close. You know, just get me out of here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, playing against Samus has to be super, super stressful. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> rolling the disdain. her eyes too. She's like, I had to deal with Quick last week, and then I have to deal with Train. Right. I'm tired of Samus. <laughs> Samus has got me tired. Anyway, game three. Like we said, Dill no stranger to getting these reverse 2-0s, but can Train stop the comeback? And we're back to Battlefield for game three. They have not switched. Honestly, I love seeing it. Yeah. This is such a great stage for both characters. So we really get to see both players really just playing at their most optimal, I think. Yeah, 100%. And we definitely saw that in the last game and in game one. And let's see if we can continue that momentum into the... Oh, all right. Train's movement is so good with the yeah. B reverses. What? You got hit Wait. by that bomb? What happened there? Oh, and the screw attack too, that catching so the jump out of shield. It comes out so quick, like immediately mm -hmm. after the fair, as soon as Train lands, throws that up B, and if Rob does anything, jump, move, you're going to get hit by the up B. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Even when not directly under the middle platform, it's still kind of the reflector. The read. The reads. Dill right. was like, you really wanted that charge shot, didn't you? I'm not going to let you have it. He really did. and. Train now having to play it from behind. Going to see if he can even things up and keep the momentum from spiraling too out of control in Dill's favor. All right, full charge shot back online. Gyro in hand. That time, though, no armor are going to be saving you there. And Train keeping things competitive only 33%. Like you were saying earlier, armor, the, we got the mini games on what deck. Was that? The down throw Gyro into landing Samus up air? Train is absolutely, like, he has to be labbing this, you know? That's not something you just improv. Super impressive by Train. Oh, all right, Ooh. we got a charge shot. Get off me. Making some space. And the mix-up. Oh, my goodness. Two up Bs go unpunished, but we are getting close and close to the end of this match, and we're just throwing out projectiles. Okay, Train getting really aggressive oh, with the gyro pressure. Gets shield grab for his troubles, but able to avoid the Rob minigame and live to tell his tale. I love the pump fakes by Train. A Ooh. really great option by Samus's, but dang. Unfortunately, oh. loses their stock there, but... Yeah, that, that screw attack was definitely a little bit questionable. Yeah. Very punishable from Dill. And good awareness from Dill to make sure that she can get that stock lead. Train has to get this stock right now, or else you're gonna eat a lot of percent. But hey, the back air gets it done. Very nicely done. And we are at last stock, game three. Fresh stocks on both sides. I'm so excited to see how this plays out. This could really be anyone's game. And whoever whoever wins this does go into winner's finals. But the Z drop gyro conversions, not able to finish it off is still, and now she's getting pressured at the ledge once again. Ooh, get, even nice getting a little done. bit of extra percentage right there with the forward throw whipping Dill into the bomb explosion as well. Train right. doing a great job of just following Dill, if, even if she goes super high on a recovery and landing. <gasps> the bomb into up tilt. That oh. is gonna be taking it. And Dill going out in winner's semis and that is Train moving on in winner's finals. That last sequence was incredible. I, I, what was that setup? I mean, that was nasty. And you know at this point, Train is thinking, like, I don't want to get arm rotored again. So Ooh, nice. throwing out the bombs and the super missiles instead of just going for the, the tried and true uh, charge shot. Super, super impressive by Train. I mean, the number 11 seed taking out Dill. And yeah. emphatically, too. Uh, I mean, that was pretty wild. That was um, an explosive set. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, Dill must be pissed at all these Samus's <laughs> that are coming through. Like, who wouldn't gosh, be, to be honest? One, ha one came from freaking Germany. Can I get, can I get one week 
please. Then we got a train coming from nowhere, but hey, uh, real from quick. From the ether. From the ether, <laughs> for real. But real quick, just want to say, I uh, had a great time casting with you today, Armor. Absolutely. Ton of, ton of fun, some phenomenal matches. We still have a lot of great action coming to you, but that is going to be it for me. We've got our good pal Sonic Fiend hopping on the mic. So, yeah, take care, everyone, and I'll see you all later. A pleasure as always. Take care. Great seeing you.